now we are going to discuss how do we handle missing data. So when I say handling missing data, it means like uh, you may be removing the missing data or you are imputing missing data with the right values. So there are multiple possibilities here. So let's get started with missing data handling. So before we start with that, I want to define missing data. So when we say data is missing, then what does it mean? How does it look like? So definition of missing data, every technology has a different way of representing missing data. So mainframe systems may be a different way or relational databases, different way, high impala, different way. So let's see in NumPy, we have np.nan. So NAN means not a number. It stands for not a number. That's how the missing numbers are represented. And then we also have none. Maybe in pandas, you will find none is very popular, very common. In relational databases, like you have null, right? So RDBMS, relational databases. And then we have slash capital N is very common in Hive and Impala, big data analysis related technologies. So different technologies, they have different ways of representing nulls. Uh, so let's see how do we handle this missing data. And uh, if we have missing data, then we can say that I want to remove missing data. I have uh, uh, like some, some few records like which are very less compared to the actual data that I have for training my machine learning model. So I can simply say that I'm dropping maybe a couple of records which are uh, missing and uh, I can uh, simply move forward with the rest of the records. But a lot of times it is not the right way of uh, removing or dropping the data. Uh, so we do one thing like which is like uh, we impute the data. So for imputing data, like uh, this is missing data and then for imputing missing data, we have various strategies. So one option is I can impute my data with some statistical function. So I can say that I want to impute using statistical uh, function. And this is a very straightforward uh, statistical function like uh, you can use mean value. So we, you will go for mean value when you think that outliers are not there in the data and you can simply substitute with mean value. Um, and then we have a median value which is uh, like uh, not impacted by outliers. So in case you think that your data is having outliers, so then you may go for median value. And the mod is very helpful in case of categorical data. These two are good for numerical data but mod like most frequently occurring value, for example, uh, when you have gender and let's say gender is missing. So you can say that I want to substitute the people who are having like, um, they did not disclose their gender. I want to substitute with some value. So I can have mod or the most frequently occurring gender I can substitute in the missing value. That can be another um, way of handling missing data, right? So there are multiple ways of handling missing data. Uh, so this is statistical functions we are applying. Another one can be like ML based functions, machine learning model based functions. Since we have not discussed machine learning as such till now, um, but just understand simply like uh, we have uh, training data and uh, we have test data and uh, you are dividing that data into two parts and training data will not have any missing data missing no missing data it is perfect and test data is having some missing data and that column which is having missing data is our target and we want to predict that and uh, we are assuming that there is a dependency of uh, the features on that label so basically this is our target and we this is a strong assumption that we are having here that uh, the features are able to predict this missing data. Um, so um, this is another approach. You may be using some logistic regression or some ANOVA test or uh, some other techniques of uh, like uh, applying and predicting um, this missing data, but there is an assumption here. 
another one is knn k nearest neighbor and when we will discuss this then it will be clearer like uh, what exactly i mean by that so it is like uh, if something is missing then you are saying that who all are there in my neighborhood and based on that you are predicting uh, like uh, this should be the actual value of the particular missing data so um, you can say uh, let's say uh, people coming from certain region they are most likely have uh, maybe uh, same um, income right so maybe like income information is missing and you know that people live in a posh area so maybe they are having similar income so k nearest neighbor so this is based on the concept like uh, birds on the same feather fall together so that means the data which is together in the di high dimensional vector space they will be very close or they will be very similar so it is based on that assumption another one is like uh, we are using filling like uh, we are we are filling data uh, populating data based on various strategy so this is like very straightforward you are saying forward fill is one strategy another strategy can be backward fill so another one is backward fill strategy so backward fill forward fill so let's say one example uh, let's say we have uh, uh, let's say age and uh, some people specified age 10 years let's say 15 years 25 years but let's say this is missing and we have 30 years this is np.nan so this is missing so when you are doing forward fill then age which is like imputed imputed age will look like this so 10 it is 15 so this imputed age will look like this 10 15 25 and then forward fill means 25 will be populated here and then 30 so this is forward fill strategy and we can have backward fill strategy also in backward fill strategy we have age and uh, in this case we will have 10 15 and then 25 and backward fill is 30 so 30 will be here and 30 is here so this is another way like you are populating the you are doing back back fill you are doing forward fill so these are two different strategies now which one is the best one actually i would say like um, imputation of missing data uh, it is highly based on your domain so domain knowledge is very important when it comes to missing data handling domain expertise is very important so if you are a domain expert then you can take this decision of imputing missing data in an intelligent manner so the recommendation here is go for the um, like your domain expertise knowledge and based on that choose a particular method right so i hope you are getting some sense of it when we start looking into code then we will see some of these techniques how do we impute data but this is a high level theory like what are the different strategies of imputing missing data so let's move into the code and then we start exploring it more.